my message to you this evening that nurture positive energy all the time inside you avoid negative energy like the plague what does not deserve to be thought of don't think of it you must develop and nurture and grow in a positive frame of mind you should not always be thinking is there negative energy in me never we have i have only positive energy in me and it is only that energy that i will dip into this must be your firm conviction and only for that do you need to give split a space should always think of lord rama never think of rama the demon instead of thinking of lord rama if you think of the demon ravana then be sure that ravana will enter you because that demon of the ego is always waiting outside to get a place inside don't give place that's the no place positive thought positive word positive speech positive action worship positive energy om shanti om shanti om shanti om shanti om shanti are you happy very happy i'll say too much forest yeah the world is akin to a forest too much layer wild animals wild animals yeah. in the garden but inside we have a garden the wild animals that swami ji is referring to are the five senses no focus to outside inside don't focus there focus inside outside too much problems too many problems in the outer world no focus thinking out inside contemplate on the inner there is life only inside our karma outside our life inside our actions are on the outside but our life is inside that can go inside therefore we must exercise control over the inside this is control let happy om sharana bhava om sharana bhava good thoughts good prayers good deeds Clear God, clear God. Our thoughts, God. Our words, God. Our deeds, God. It's good service, God. When some inside saving, outside service, outside service, service to others. You are born to be of service to others in this world. Other than my Baba. and that is what our parents wished of us that is what our guru has wished for us and that is what god has wished for us that we should ever be in the service of others and therefore we must do good to others to the best of our ability till it hurts we must never 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 bring grief to anybody even if somebody does behaves in not the best way with you in a cruel way in a wicked way you should never entertain negative energy towards that and never never indulge in quarrels however justified you think you are in our hearts there must be only love for others that is the good quality in us and that quality is god outside good qualification in the good quality outside you need good qualifications that means to engage the outer world you need qualifications to engage the inner world you need something else you need good quality om sharan om sharan om sharan om sharan i'm very very happy swami ji wishes to tell all of you convey to you that he's very very happy to meet all of you to be here this evening
And that you have afforded him a chance and an opportunity of this kind. He is deeply grateful. So please make, he says, a little space for me in your heart. A little is enough. <laughs> And if you do that, I will become your I will become your watchman. I will watch over you. You have a palace, and I will be the security guard. Om Shadavanam. Om Shadavanam. Swamiji will be moving to the room on the the opposite room, the next room, and if you all can. For Venu, can you please help with some volunteers? And I also extend a very cordial and warm invitation to all of you to visit our ashram at Sri Krishnaburam. If you are in India this time, you can do that, or the next time that you come to India. You are welcome in any one of our ashrams, and you are welcome to participate in any one of its activities. There is a mother waiting for you in my ashram, who will receive you. Om Sharvana Bhava. Om Sharvana Bhava. Evelina, would you like to say something about your meeting with Guruji in London? Okay. Om Sharvana Bhava. First of all, thank you. I think it was 14 or 15 months ago that I met you in London. And meeting you was the first time I met somebody who is pure love and pure wisdom. And that changed my outlook on life itself and gave me great hope for the future of the world. Because if you can be pure love, all of us can be pure love. And I knew that day that you granted me the keys to understanding love and to walk in the path myself to wisdom and love and to self-realization and to knowing the wisdom of the universe. And I know now that we don't have to live in fears, that we can live our mission in the world. And I wish that for everybody, love and bliss and trust in what we are here to do and you gave me that hope and that love, so I'm forever and always grateful to you. Thank you.